This is the Jewish quarter. On the upper level of the street, which stands for contemporary times, for the modern times, whenever my time dies, the time of the state of Israel, okay? And in a gap of no more than 14 meters underneath, they managed to discover the major street of Jerusalem in the late Roman period. It was a pagan street like you've seen in Beit Shean. That was, you can see half of the road to the left. One pedestrian walked with uh, two shots that survived. And this street used to go from the south up to the north as far as Damascus Gate. So that was the major avenue in the time of the Greek Romans. And this street was active also when Jerusalem stopped to be Jewish after the destruction of the temple, and instead it developed to be a Christian, Byzantine, Roman city. And this trip stands for that period of time. Okay? In fact, in Jerusalem, in some places, you might reach as far as 30, 33 zero different archaeological layers of different cultures that occupy the city. Okay? Just I want you to think about this as you walk here in, on top of these ancient stones, Okay, and so king, army, prophet, and so think about that. That's not an ordinary uh, walking street that you walk in Toronto with all the respect. You're walking in the footsteps of history and also of Jesus Christ. Okay, all together. Okay, so we're gonna do a full crossing of the Jewish border down to site. Number one, for the Jewish religion in the whole world, and that's the first world.